welcome to nine point academy's youtube channel i am adenike adekoya today i will be talking about vocabulary development specifically additions now it's not just enough for you to have a good content when you are writing ielts you need to have cohesive structure now one of the ways to achieve cohesive structures is for you to use transitions properly and i'll be starting with additions now when you talk of additions they are linking words that are used to add the new information to a previously given one in a like manner and used within sentences and paragraphs now there are some words you need to note here Let's start out with this phrase, a linking words, then add a new information, previously given one, in a like manner. Now, we use linking words for additions to add a new information to the one you have before, in a like manner, that is, you are adding to the information you have before, not contrasting what you have before. Now, there are different linking words you can use when you are adding a new information to your um, sentences or paragraphs. Now, you have and also as well as furthermore, more so, in addition, equally, likewise, in the same way, along with, not only, but also. Now you need to note that there is an ellipsis here. Not only is she clever, but also beautiful. So you don't write not only and you leave your ellipsis there. Now when you want to write your sentences or your paragraph you don't need to keep repeating the same set of linking words most writers are fond of repeating and also as well as furthermore more so in addition whenever they're writing it shows that you don't have a wide range of vocabulary so you need to learn new transitions in order for you to use and Note that you need to use the appropriate one when you need to add the new information to what you have before. That is one that is still in the same way, the one that still carries the same view or notion. You need to use additions and not contrast. A sample paragraph, I'm going to read it out. The government of Lagos State under the leadership of the governor, Robert Jude Sonwolu, has embarked on many development programs. Some of these city altering initiatives include construction of major roads, reconstruction of road houses, and the beautification of the environment. Equally, the state has carried out poverty alleviation initiatives targeted at market women and artisans. However, these projects do not suffice as they have not reached the targeted audience, especially those within the remote areas. Now, since we're talking about additions, from the first part here, you have the government of Lagos State under the leadership of the governor, but Vajide Sonwolu has embarked on many development programs that is your introduction to what you want to say now some of these city altering initiatives include construction of major roads reconstruction of road axes now there is and here yeah, this and here yeah, is a transition that is used within the sentence now it's within this second sentence and the beautification of the environment. That is, there are three different initiatives that were highlighted. Construction of major roads, reconstruction of road axes, and the beautification of the environment. Now, the use of and here 
can easily be replaced with others, the, the ones you can use within sentences, you could use as well as, you could use it to replace and yeah. Now the third sentence starts with another transition, which is equally. Equally means in a like manner. That is, you're still talking about initiatives. You haven't left initiatives yet. That is uh, the things the government of Lagos State have been working on. So now this one is an addition. That is the sentence here is an addition to what you've had before. You are given a new information. Equally, the state has carried out poverty alleviation initiatives targeted at market women and artisans. Now this is another addition. And yeah. now you need to note that the use of and in between the sentences, especially when you have your linking words within sentences, there are some that do not require you to write it with a comma. Now, there are some you need to write with a comma. Now, when you have equally, the state has carried out poverty elevation initiatives targeted at many, at market women and artisans. Now, I'm going to explain what I've just, I'm going to illustrate rather what I meant by when you have some linking words within sentences, you need to use a comma to differentiate them. And there are some that you do not need to use a comma to differentiate them. Now, equally, the state has carried out poverty alleviation initiatives targeted at market women and artisans. I'm going to rewrite this last sentence. Okay. The state equally has carried okay, has carried out poverty alleviation initiatives. targeted at market women and at the same. Now, there is a difference between doing this and uh, this part. Yeah. The linking word is starting the sentence. So once the linking word starts the sentence, yeah, you need to use a comma to show that there is a pause before you continue the sentence. Now, when you're using transitions within sentences this way, now the state equally, that is you have to use the comma to separate the noun phrase there, that is the first thing you are starting out with, which is the subject. Now, equally, that is in the same way as carried out poverty alleviation initiatives targeted at market women and artisans. Now, this, writing it this way has not changed the meaning you have in the last sentence. It's uh, the same way, but when you have, when you write your sentences this way, you need to know how to use your commas after the transitions. Now, I also mentioned that there are some transitions that you do not need to use a comma after them or before. Like your and, as well as, you don't need to use a comma when you have them within sentences as you have here. And uh, you don't need to use a comma after them. But when you have 
your transition in between sentences and you need to use a comma now you could be called an Oxford comma that way it shows that you are talking about two different things now that brings us to the end of today's presentation on addictions you can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media